What are the top programming languages to learn in 2020? Whether you are a beginner or an experienced software developer looking for new job opportunities, this video will help you decide which one to learn. The criteria for the popularity metrics are among others the job opportunities you'll have, uh, the difficulty level of learning the language and also the community behind it. And this is not based on our opinion, but rather a research. We did a meta ranking based on um, analysis of more than 30 articles and different um, statistics like Stack Overflow survey and search indices. And by the way, uh, at the end of the video, tell me what you think about the ranking and which language you will choose to learn in 2020. Number three is Java. According to TOB search index, which uses the aggregated data of all search engines, Java has been the most searched programming language over the years. In terms of job opportunities, there are more than 30,000 job openings for Java developers, which is an increase of 108% compared to the last year. And generally speaking, across all articles and statistics, Java is mostly ranked in the top three. So what is the reason that Java is so popular? So the first reason is that Java is used in a lot of enterprise application development. So big companies who are developing software, especially legacy software, they use Java. And that explains why Java is still popular and demanded. The second one is Java is used in Android development. So with the rise of popularity of Android apps, of course, Java gets even more popularity. And the third one is because Java is an established language, it has a lot of community support behind. And Java is a powerful language for backend development, which has a wide range of features for different use cases like database connections, networking, parsers, etc. Number two is JavaScript. According to Stack Overflow survey, JavaScript has been the most popular programming language for the seventh year in the row. And in these two surveys, all top three in the ranking are JavaScript frameworks. As for the job opportunities, there has been a 122% increase in the number of JavaScript job openings in the last year. And as a JavaScript developer, you would get an average salary of $115,000 in the USA. So why is JavaScript so popular? The number one reason is that JavaScript has a lot of really good frameworks for web development. And besides the front-end frameworks like React and Angular and Vue.js, it also has back-end framework like Node.js, which makes JavaScript actually a full-stack programming language. So as a web developer, you could actually program the whole website just using JavaScript. The second reason is that compared to Java, which is used mostly in enterprise applications, JavaScript is often used by startups for faster development and faster time to market. Because JavaScript is very flexible and has an easy setup, so you can get started with the application development really fast. You can now use JavaScript even for the mobile development using its React native framework, which you can actually use to develop for both Android and iOS platforms. And generally speaking, if you want to be a web developer, you cannot avoid learning JavaScript. And number one is Python. According to these statistics, which is an aggregated stats from multiple surveys, GitHub repository data, and search indices, Python has become the top programming language. Also, according to PyPool, which is based on Google search engine, Python tutorials have been the most searched on Google compared to other languages. And according to Stack Overflow survey, Python has been the most wanted programming language for the past three years, meaning that developers who don't use it yet say they want to use it. And in terms of job opportunities, an average salary a Python developer would get in the USA is 120,000 US dollars. A number of job openings for Python developers is around 30,000, which is an increase of 121% compared to the last year. So how did Python become the top programming language? The number one reason for that is Python is used extensively in data science, machine learning, uh, artificial intelligence, all these 
new cool trends because Python has a lot of powerful features and libraries uh, that are used in data processing, machine learning, AI. The second one is that it's super easy to learn. It has a very simple syntax and the concepts are also pretty easy to understand. So for data scientists or people who don't really know how to program, Python would be the easiest entry point into programming. And in addition to this, Python also has a large support community. So to summarize, each of these languages are very powerful and they are cross-functional. So you can use them in many different uh, scenarios. However, each one of them really shines in their own specific usage area. So how do you decide which one to learn? The answer is that based on your interest and your career plans, you have to reverse engineer. So for example, if you want to become a web developer, especially with a focus on front end, then you should definitely go with JavaScript. But if you want to work on enterprise applications in big established companies, then you would probably need to learn Java. But again, if you're more interested in data science, machine learning, this kind of stuff, and also if this is going to be your very first programming language, then go with Python. Now, if none of this is interesting for you and you're dreaming of becoming a game developer, then you should go with C++ because that's the language for game development. Um, or if you want to concentrate on developing mobile apps for iOS platform, then you should learn Swift. An important point here is that whatever language you decide to learn, stick to it for the whole year and learn it properly before choosing and switching to another language again. Because when you learn it properly, it's going to be enough to already get a job in that specific language. And then you can always add a new technology or a new programming language to your skill set. So please share in the comments, what are your career goals and which language you decided to learn in 2020?